Um, in a little village, there was a, a library. The librarian was a young lady, who was very good at her job. <clears throat> One day she was arranging some books on the shelf, and she noticed a chicken walked in. A big chicken, a big Rhode Island red. And uh, she said to the chicken, uh, Hello, what do you want? Do you want a book? And the, uh, the chicken, book, book, yeah. So you want a book. She was quite clever. She could understand uh, pidgin English and a fair amount of foul language as well, which she understood when necessary. And uh, the, uh, the chicken went down the shelves and pecked a book out, put it under a wing, and uh, the librarian said, oh, you, you'll have to uh, fill this form and I'll put a cross down for you. You must bring the book back within a week, it will be a small fine, and uh, it's got to be in good condition. So, uh, the, uh, the chicken made a couple of clucks to me, as if he understood what she was saying, and walked out the door. <coughs> About ten minutes later, the chicken came back with a book under his arm, put it in the counter, the librarian looked through it and it was completely undamaged, it was just uh, as it was when he went out of the library. And uh, the, um, the chicken said, book, book, oh you want two books do you? So. Um, Chicken sorted a couple of books out, signed for them with a, with a cross and uh, one under each arm, and off he went. About ten minutes later, he was back again, and she said, "You finished with them?" Yes. Well, you know, we made out that uh, he knew what she was on about, and he, he finished with the books, checked them out whether they were in good condition, and. Uh, so he book, 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 you, you want three books now, do you? So he took three books out. And uh, ten minutes later, he's back again with the books all intact. And um, the librarian was uh, a bit suspicious now. She said, well, I wonder what's going on here, you know. So uh, as it was quiet, she followed him. He, he came in, he wanted four books, two under, as many as he could carry, two under each wing. And uh, so the librarian slipped out, locked, locked the library up, and followed him. And he went down the road and into the park. And she followed him without, uh, without her knowing. And uh, when she got into the park, on the fence there, there was the biggest bullfrog you've ever seen. And uh, the hen took the books up to the bullfrog, and the bullfrog looked at him and said, Read it, read it, read it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a farm in the south of England, and uh, the fellow there wanted foreign animals, apart from horses and uh, cows, sheep and goats. He wanted kangaroos and uh, bison, ostriches, emus, a collection of foreign animals which he could keep on the farm without, uh, be, without doing any damage. They could roam openly. And uh, he had a new arrival come from South Africa. It was a zebra. And uh, the zebra looked around and felt a bit strange in a new setting. There were lots of animals there that, well, she hadn't seen most of them before. So the zebra thought uh, he'd better introduce himself. So he saw some chickens. He'd never seen a chicken before. And, uh, he said to uh, one of the chickens, he said, I'm a zebra, I'm from the Rand in South Africa. 
they've just wrote me over to this farm. What are you? And uh, the chicken said, oh, we're chickens. And he said, well, what do you do on the farm? And the chicken said, well, we lay eggs and uh, our master has the eggs, but in return, there's more eggs than we can uh, cope with. So um, he has half the eggs and in return, he feeds us every day, waters us, makes sure that no foxes or predators get into us. And it's just quite a good arrangement. So um, he said, oh, right, thank you. And uh, he, sh he says, uh, a horse there, yeah, well, that's near enough one of his cousins like me. He thought, that must be related to me somehow. It's, uh, it's got the same lines as myself, you know, four legs, one in each corner sort of thing, but a different coat. So I went up to the horse and uh, <coughs> said, uh, what, what are you? Uh, he said, oh, I'm, um, I'm from South Africa, from the Rand, I'm a, what they call a zebra. What are you? And he said, well, I'm a horse. And he said, well, what do you do on the farm? And he said, well, I just, uh, I give children on the weekend, children come to see the animals, and I give them rides and one thing and another, and uh, I just blend in with the other animals. And uh, the master looks after me, he feeds me, and uh, I've got no complaints, it's a good arrangement. And then the next animal he sees was a, a bull. And he walked up to the bull and said, uh, I'm from the Rand, I'm a zebra. In, uh, I live in South Africa. Um, they've just brought me into the farm. Who are you? And he said, I'm Ferdinand the bull. And he said, well, what do you do on the farm? And the bull said, you take those fancy pyjamas off and I'll show you what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.